What's up everybody? As you can see, I got my station here all prepped and I'm going to be, first of all, I washed my hands, dried them, put on my gloves. I also set up this book with a magazine board underneath the cover and a non-stick sheet on top of that under the cover. So this is Fantastic Four number 50. Okay, it actually looks really, really nice as you can see. But the problem is, is it's got this shadowing on the back that's really, really bad. Really, really dark. So, and this is a demonstration on how I do the peroxide mix, which is right here. I guess we can go ahead and move the iron. We're not going to be using it, and we're not plugged in, and it's not hot. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here. I have my makeup remover pads. This is my mixture of ImmacuClean. And this is nothing but distilled water, right? So the first thing I want to do, or the first thing that I do, is I'm going to put my glasses on, and I'm going to wipe on the peroxide mix. So I'm going to move these bad boys out of my way, and I'm just going to get this really wet, and then I'm going to just hold the cover firm and then I'm just going to apply it and I'm going to bend around to the spine, the side of the spine. Now I'm barely using any pressure as you can see, some of it's missing. And I want to cover this whole area. I'm, like I said, I'm barely using any pressure at all. A lot of it came off just with that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm done with my peroxide mix. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my ImmacuClean. I'm going to dry this off a little bit, get the excess moisture off. Again, barely any pressure because remember, wet paper is weak paper see that you gotta be careful man i barely i'm barely barely even touching this book and that tried to come up on me there's some more schmutz as rick likes to say dirt you see it you notice i'm only using one pad and then i toss it away okay we already got some that's coming off and that's because there's dirt on top of the shadowing so now I'm going to go ahead and hit my Clean, And now I want to give this a good wiping with the Clean. Again, my fingers, that finger is going over the spine. I'm being very gentle. And there, it pulled off a lot of, a lot more dirt with the immaculate clean. So now I'm done with that. So now it's already pretty much drying out. So now I'm going to take my distilled water. And now I'm going to wipe it. And this book, as you can see, is extremely wet now. That's why I put the nonstick sheet on top of the backing board. Because it will stick 
to the magazine board. Now I'm gonna do one more coat of my peroxide mix. Really wet. As you guys can see, I'm letting the weight of the liquid basically do its thing on the book. I'm barely adding any pressure at all. More dirt. This, this book has never been cleaned or pressed, so, and now I'm going to wipe it off. Now remember, we've already done the, we've already done the distilled water. And like I'm showing, I'm barely using any pressure at all. So the distilled water has soaked into the paper, which means I've, Basically, I've stopped the burn of the peroxide. I'm going to wipe it down one more time with just a little bit of distilled water. Because this thing is so shadowed and dirty that it really does need a lot of help. I'm just going to give it a little wipe to wipe off some of the excess moisture. And the split that I'm using is 40%. 40% peroxide, 60% distilled water. And people ask me, well, why distilled water? Well, distilled water, it's very simple. Distilled water has no sediment, nothing in it. It's just pure, clean water. That's why that's all I use. resetting my nonstick sheet a little bit. Now remember, we're not worried about wrinkling or anything like that because remember, we're just cleaning right now. We still have to press. Okay? So now, I'm going to turn on my lights. And the position of your lights are very important. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cover the lights. Right, because you don't want, you basically don't want the spread of the light to go everywhere. You want it right here, right? So that's what I do, right? I grab a, 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 a towel or a, a few paper towels and I'll put it over like a net over my light so that my light stays concentrated on this area. Also, my light has a timer, uh, three, nine, and 12 hours. I usually do it for three hours at a time. I'm going to probably need three applications, maybe four to get this dark shadowing off. So I'm going to set up my lights. I'm going to put them on here, and I'll see you guys in about three hours. This is Big John, and for right now, I'll be back.